I hope that in this session we are going to break some misconception about security and what is possible and what is not in Web3 security and how that all relates to the Solana ecosystem. So when we started Hypernative, we started uh, discussing with projects, with builders, um, and we found out three main mi misconceptions that people think about security. One of them is that security audits are a good way to basically protect your projects. But over the last two years, we've seen that most of the projects that we work with get audited, sometimes even multiple audits, pay a lot of money for these audits, but still get hacked. A staggering amount of more than $2 billion was stolen in 2023 alone from uh, companies that were audited once or even more. And to be frank, a lot of the attacks that we see are sometimes not even related to code base. So even if you had the perfect audit, you would still get hacked. The second uh, misconception that we saw is that attacks are happening in one transaction. So over the last two years, Hypernative, and this is an amazing statistics, we were able to detect almost all the hacks and exploits that happen across more than 40 chains that we support. And in 98% of the cases, we are actually able to detect the attack before a few minutes and sometimes even more before the first hack transaction. And this led us to understand that an attack, right, uh, if we have these very indicative transactions that are happening and we're able to capture that, attacks are not just happening in one transaction. Also, in many cases, uh, you would see that even after the first hack transaction, not all the money is being stolen. So copycats, uh, the original hacker itself, uh, there is a lot of room for damage control even after the fact. And the third misconception that we hear uh, is that, okay, you can detect the attacks before they happen, but I can't do anything about it. I think that uh, we proved it wrong. Hypernative stopped more than 200 and saved more than $200 million of customer money. And uh, if everyone were using Hypernative, we could have probably prevented more than a billion dollars in loss. So there is something to be done. And this is why we created Hypernative. Hypernative today not monitor on and off chain data sources in real time, runs hundreds of different kinds of detectors and models from machine learning to other techniques, which are meant to detect risk in a variety of different categories before it happens and connect these detections to automated actions that can actually save and prevent uh, loss automatically. And how, how do we do it? How, how all this magic is happening? When we, when we thought about this problem, right, like we wanted to find a way to detect all sorts of different kinds of vectors and vulnerabilities because there are endless, in the end, if you look historically, there are just too many different attack vectors. There are just too many vulnerabilities. You can't just check everything that happened before because then you'll miss that new thing, that new vector that, that is happening. And this is why a uh, hypernative approach is um, looking at historically as well, but also classifying malicious actors. What we found out is that we are very good at detecting malicious actors before they do something bad. Even if we, we don't know what they're going to do, we know to classify them, and then we know to understand they are going to attack your protocol. One example of that is that we found out many attacks are happening when the attacker deploys smart contracts. And these smart contracts are the actual, the actual attack, the actual uh, contracts of the hackers before they trigger the attack. Hypernative, one of the vectors that Hypernative does today is to monitor every smart contract that is deployed now also on Solana, be able to classify in a super accurate way that this contract is an attack contract, and then through a fuzzing simulation, uh, real-time understanding of the logic of the contract, understand that you are the target and helping you recover uh, from that. Going back to why audits uh, are not good enough, what we found out is that security is a, 
logistic problem. Like, even if all your code is uh, correct, you can still get exploited from a variety of different ways. One example is the front end. So maybe someone hacked through DNS hijacking, BGP hijacking, just hacked your AWS infrastructure that you hold your web application and replaced your web application. So your users are connecting their wallets, pressing the buttons, they think they are interacting with your contracts, everything is okay with the contracts, but they are actually sending funds to someone else. So there are many different type of attack vectors that you as a project need to cover from front-end attacks to things that are related to your wallets, market manipulation, custom or specific attacks that are happening to your protocol, smart contract vulnerabilities. Hypernative, we try to be that one-stop shop that knows to monitor, detect all of this and help you to automatically prevent it with these different kind of integration actions, either on-chain or off-chain. And why, why is the team good at what it does? Um, it all starts with the people. Hypernative uh, team combined hundreds of years of cybersecurity experience and applying machine learning in cybersecurity in traditional markets, um, combined with members that are very versatile and experienced with blockchain and DeFi technologies. Over the last two years, uh, we have been working. Today, we are with more than 130 customers. Um, you saw the statistics in the start. Hypernative today knows to detect almost everything with close to zero false positive and working with some of the big names in the industry today as customers. Some of our customers are, are listed here and they all trust us, trust us to make sure that they are secure and that if anything bad happens to them, we have the means to automatically protect them. So why, why, why does it matter to Solana and why we are presenting here? Solana Foundation shared the same uh, thinking as Hypernative, that everyone should have a base layer of security that protect your projects. What we usually see is that builders and new projects a lot of times don't really have a security person uh, in the team very early and even very late. Especially, um, they don't have enough focus or time to think about all of these things, to create all of these things internally. And we want everyone that is building in the Solana ecosystem to be protected and have this base layer of hypernative capabilities. And this is why we are offering a free account for anyone that is building on Solana. Every project can essentially register. I'll show it by the end of the slides, how you can contact us, but you can onboard the platform in a very easy manner and start using hypernative. One of our, uh, I want to announce uh, a few projects already are using Hypernative uh, today uh, in production from the Solana ecosystem. I want to highlight one of them, uh, Squad Wallet. So I'm sure many of you heard or are using Squad. Squad is the leading OTC uh, provider uh, for the Solana ecosystem. And I'm going to present three use cases that the Squad team are going to leverage Hypernative on Solana. The first uh, aspect is the multi-sig uh, monitoring. Essentially, you are using, you have a wallet or a few wallets. You want to make sure that you are monitoring any suspicious or abnormal behavior happening in these wallets, from ownership changes, large money movements, transaction initiation, even before they are actually uh, triggered on-chain and so on essentially to save you from internal or external uh, threats and be able to maybe send these funds to cold storage or do something about, about these threats. The other aspect, and this is an aspect that uh, Hypernative is working today with a lot of funds and asset managers, but also projects, you will be able to trigger automated actions with Squad Wallet based on Hypernative uh, detections and alerts. So a lot of times we work with asset managers where what we do is they uh, model the positions and the protocols that they invest in. Hypernative essentially knows to detect risks in these protocols before they happen. For example, that this 
protocols are going to get tapped, trigger an action in the wallet to actually unwind or withdraw the funds before they're actually sold, uh, so uh, before they're uh, actually lost. And we've done this, it's already working in production and many funds have saved considerable amounts of money with that. This is now today integrated also with Squad, so you can define this. And this works not just for security reasons, but any action or any logic that you want to track on-chain, you can essentially connect that action, uh, the Squad uh, action and trigger the transaction on-chain. And the other, um, and the last uh, point that we're working is that we are helping squad team essentially save and make sure that their on-chain uh, presence is secure. So to summarize, um, to summarize, I, I think that we've seen Hypernative as a super effective tool to uh, protect anyone that's interacting and anyone that is building or investing or running in Web3. We want to make sure that you are all, um, that you are all, you all have access to this technology. So we did this partnership with the Solana Foundation. So please feel free to go to our website, hypernative.io, fill up the form uh, and you can get access. You can also 